So if you're like me, having problems with an E-Tech outboard, in this case 115 horsepower for years, problems starting, and diagnosis has boiled it down to it looks like it's an injector. Um, long story short, uh, trying to get an E-Tech injector cleaned or to replace one, this is a 2006, is almost impossible. Canadian dollars, you're talking $1,000 for an injector if you can find one uh, for a new one used or very difficult. In any case, I've built my own E-Tech injector cleaning system. So what I've done is I've mounted the injector on a clear container so I can see it. I have the adapters that I got on eBay for E-Tech injectors for testing and cleaning or diagnosis. And I've mounted them. Now I have a solid state fuel pump right there. So these injectors get cooled by the fuel. They have to have fuel flowing through them. So that little pump is circulating. I'm going to use different cleaners. This is straight seafoam. So when that is going through uh, the injector constantly, it's cooling it when it starts to be activated. So you'll see if I activate, there's the fuel pump going. So that fuel is flowing in one side of the injector port and out the other side, but it's not actually injecting fuel, injecting it. So I've also built myself a circuit because the E-Techs require 55 volts in their system. So this little circuit is a DC to DC converter, boosts 12 volts up to 55 volts. I actually run it around 35 to 38. Seems to work fine, so I'm just trying to generate less heat. Um, this is a fuel injector tester, which is uh, designed to activate 12 volt car injectors. Will not activate an E-Tech. So I feed this system, which amplifies the pulses from a standard fuel injector tester to up to 55 volt pulses to activate this fuel injector. So I'll show you it, I'll hook it up and I'll show you it working. Okay, so <laughs> here it is now. Fuel's pumping. Now I'll actually activate um, the injector here. I'll hook up my automotive injector to the battery. Start it pulsing and then I'll just connect it to the E-Tech amplifier. There we go. So that injector is firing at an equivalent of about four to 5,000 RPM. That's uh, what it would be like if that engine was running at four to 5,000 RPM. And it's running straight sea foam through it now. So it can run continuous with this setup because it's looping the fuel. However, you do notice the, uh, sorry, looping the cleaner. You do notice the cleaner start to get hot or to warm up but I'm going to try multiple different cleaners before I put it back on the boat and then I'm going to uh, clean all of them.